Hello and welcome to our lesson. This is lesson 1.6 and we will be discussing angle relationships. So our first angle relationship is adjacent and adjacent angles share a common side and vertex. So we know that we have two angles. So I have one angle here and a second angle here. And the shared common side and vertex that they have is this vertex point here and this side. So let's go ahead and highlight our common side and vertex. All right, next we have complementary angles. I want to direct your attention to the square in the angle. Now this means that the angle is 90 degrees in sum, and we also have two angles here that are creating this larger 90 degree angle. So the definition of complementary is two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. And these angles can be adjacent as we see here in this diagram or they can be non-adjacent. So I'm gonna make another note, can it be adjacent or non-adjacent. All right, our next pair of angle relationships, we have vertical angles. These are the angles that we had described as across from each other. So we're going to have vertical angles here. And I've shown with the same arc marking on both of these. I also have a second pair of vertical angles here. And notice that I've changed the marking. That is because the one with the two marks or in green is a different angle measure than those that are marked in blue. So our definition of vertical, these are angles formed by two intersecting lines. And we also want to say that they have equal measure, or in other words, are congruent. Okay, next pair of angles is supplementary. So we can see on our supplementary angles, we do have this line here, this straight angle, although it is made up of two separate angles. So if you recall, our straight angles were measured at 180 degrees. So supplementary is two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. Now these angles also can be adjacent or non-adjacent. So for example, I could have this angle here be 100 degrees and the angle next to it could be 80. That would total 180 degrees, whether these are adjacent next to each other or not. All right, we have two more angle pairs to our angle definitions. And um, this is more a definition of lines these two lines here are perpendicular. So what that means is we actually have a 90 degree angle formed 
at the intersection and there's actually four 90 degree angles going all the way around these two lines. So I'm going to define this as lines that intersect to form four 90 degree angles. And then our final definition, this should look similar to the diagram we see above in supplementary. However, this is a special type of supplementary angles. These are our linear pair. Um, for a linear pair, we do want the angles to be adjacent. So we want them to be next to each other and form this straight line together. Um, and these are supplementary angles. So in other words, they also add up to 180 degrees. So again, a linear pair is a more specific type of pair of supplementary angles because they are adjacent. Well, supplementary can be adjacent or non-adjacent. Okay, we're going to get into some applications of this. So we want to find two acute vertical angles here. I'm going to be varying my colors to help me mark on the diagram. So I see acute angle right here, and then the other vertical angle to it would be here. So these two angles, if I'm going to name these angles properly, that is angle... Angle LCK and angle BCD. Now there are other examples of vertical angles that we could use here, so if you see others, feel free to write them down. Okay, next we want to do a linear pair with angle BDF. BDF. So I want it to be my adjacent angle that forms a line with BDF. And so if I just think about taking one side and extending it, I now have my straight line linear pair. So the other angle here is angle JDF. Now there is another linear pair to BDF, so feel free to stop and figure that one out before moving on. Okay, changing my color again, I want to do two adjacent angles to DFE, DFE, so it's going to be this angle here, so I need to pick two angles that are next to this angle, I'm going to identify um, this angle here, so that's going to be right next to it. That is angle DFH. Angle DFH. And then I also have the angle next to it right here. That is angle E. F, G. Okay, and finally, for identifying, we have an angle supplementary to KCD, KCD. So I'm looking for a linear pair angle. I can extend my line this direction, and that would give me L, C, K. LCK. Now there is another um, angle that is supplementary to KCD. If we 
follow going the other way down the line. So you can go ahead and figure that one out. All right, now we're going to try some algebra. Now we are told the measure of ABE is 3x plus 6. A, B, E. So what I see, A, B, E here, if this is the vertical angle to my right angle over here. So that means that these two angles are the same measure, equal measure. So I know that ABE is also 90 degrees. In fact, all four angles around this intersection are 90 degrees. So if I know that ABE is equal to 90, I'm going to take my algebraic part and set it equal to 90. I can then solve my equation here. That's going to give me 3x equals 84. And then I'm finally going to divide by 3. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room. Right here. And finally divide by 3, giving me x equals... 20, 28. Okay, and now we're talking about angle KCL and angle LCB. So I'm going to identify where those are. KCL, so that's one, this one right here, and LCB this one right here. Now these angles are adjacent and form a line. These are a linear pair. I'm also going to um, write that the previous example was vertical or perpendicular lines. Okay, so back to our linear pair. We know that a linear pair is supplementary, which is 180 degree sum. So I am going to add these two expressions together because I know they add up to 180 degrees so I'm adding them and setting them equal to 180 degrees. Now I'm going to follow my algebraic steps. I'm going to combine my like terms 9x and 10 and negative 10 is 0. So I have 9x equals 180. Finally divide and I get x equals 20. All right, and I'm just missing one final question that I'm going to add in here. All right, so our final question. Two angles are supplementary. One angle is 32 degrees less than the other. Find the angles. So what I want to do here is I want to write some expressions to represent the angles. So I have two angles. I could call it measure of angle one, and then I have measure of angle two. I know that if I add these two angles together, they will equal 180 degrees. I also know that one of them is 30 degrees, 32 degrees less than the other. So less we know is going to be subtraction or minus. So I can write x minus 32 to represent, you know, 32 degrees less than this angle I don't know. And I can represent the other angle with x because ang one of the angles is 32 degrees less. Now I know that these two angles add up to 180, so I'm then going to sum them and set them equal to 180. Go through my algebraic steps of combining like terms. 
I'm going to add because I have subtraction and I'm doing the inverse operation and then finally divide by 2 and I get x equals Oh, and I made a little mistake here. This is not 112, this is 212. So x equals 106. So that means the measure of my first angle is 106. The measure of my second angle is 106 minus 32 or 74 degrees. So these are going to be my two angle measures. Thank you for sticking with me through this video. See you soon.